An estimate of an actual data values has an error of p percent if p is given by the given understanding that it is within the 20 percent. Now, the question says the estimated value and a is the actual value. Okay, a is the actual value and e is the estimated value. This is the percentage error. Emma's estimate for her total income last year had an error of less than 20 percent. And Emma's estimate income of from tutoring last year had an error of less than 20 percent. All right. So we have these two times of income. Let's quickly bifurcate the information first. There are two datas. One is the estimated income. The second is the actual income. Now, within these two categories, there are two types of incomes. That means one is income from tutoring. And the second is just the income because the question says estimate of a total income. So let's call it a total income. So these are two things estimated and actual. Now the estimated has 20% from the actual deviation in both the cases less than 20% was Emma's actual income. Let's call the actual income from tutoring as 80 and actual income the total income as AI. Now, and the estimated income, let's call it ET when it is from tutoring, when it's total estimated income, let's call it EI. Now, the first statement says that AT, that means the tutoring income has less than 20% error, that means it is within the 20% gap from the total one, the estimated. So, actual income from the tutoring is either 20% less, so 0.8 times of estimated or it is 1.2 times of estimated income. Similarly, actual total income has less than 20% error, so the same inequality follows. That means either it is 80% of estimated total income or it is 120% of estimated total income. These are two things that we have. We have been given this information in the question already. And now the question is asking, was the Emma's actual income from the tutoring, which is 80? That means the question is, let's write it down here. Question is, is 80 actual income from tutoring at most 45%? Is 80 less than or equal to 45% of the total income? 45% means 45 over 100, so this is 0.45 of total income. That's what the question is inquiring and we need to answer this question. But to answer that, we need to know any sort of relationship between the actual income from tutoring and the total actual income. Now, let us see the first statement. The first statement says that Emma's estimated income last year from the tutoring that means this statement is talking about et estimated income from the tutoring was 30 percent of her estimated total income last year okay so et was 30 percent of her estimated total income estimated total income is ei that means we can say that et is equal to 0.3 times of EI. What we have to find out is whether 80 is less than or equal to 0.45 AI or not. Now, we could also simplify this question in, in a way that we could also have written it is 80 over AI less than or equal to 0.45 or not. Right? Now, we will try to answer this question using this information. Now, we know that AT both of them can be represented into just one variable because I can convert this ET into EI. So what we are doing is we are changing this first part which means AT here look at this AT should be 1.2 times of 0.3 EI and on the other side it becomes 0.8 times of 0.3 EI which means we have the range of 80 as 0.36 EI at the most and at the least 
0.24 EI. Now we have to find AT over AI. So let's quickly see. AT over AI will be least when AT is maximum and AI is minimum. Right? So we are finding the uppermost range. That means AT should be maximum, which is 0.36 of EI. And the AI should be minimum. AI minimum has the range 0.8 EI. 0.8 EI and the lowest, lowest part of this range should be when AT is least which is 0.24 EI 0.24 EI while AI is maximum. AI maximum is 1.2 times of EI. We have to simplify this inequality further that means we can say AT over AI we are not much concerned about the lower range because we know that it is 0.24 over 1.2 which can further be simplified and it is definitely going to be less than 0 0.5, 0 0.45. Let's see 0 0.24 over 1.2 so we can get it 24 over 120 that means it is 0 0.2. Uh, 24 divides it 5 times 1 over 5 means 0 0.2. So we have 0 0.2 on the left hand side but the highest most side. Let's calculate this. So we have 0 0.36 over 0 0.8. So we reduce it further and that becomes uh, 4 can divide them completely. So 9 over 20 and into 0.5. So this is 0 0.45. Now the first statement has led us to this conclusion while the question was asking about the same information whether AT upon AI less than equal to 0.45 or not and the answer using this statement is definitely yes. So we are saying that the first statement is definitely sufficient to answer the question. That was the hardest part of this question because there is so much of data and we have to deal with it simultaneously. Now we have to look for the second statement and see what does the second statement give us. The second statement says that Emma's estimated total income last year was $40,000. So estimated total income, this is the second statement and it says that this part, estimated total income is $40,000. But this value in isolation is of no good use because we don't have to find out the value of any variable. All we have to do is just find out the value of this fraction whether it is less than or equal to 0.45 or not. So the second statement here is not helping in any way. Therefore we are saying the second statement is not sufficient. Since the first alone is sufficient and the second statement is not sufficient, so answer to the question becomes option A. That means first alone is sufficient and second is not sufficient. Thank you so much for watching this video.